Hello everyone, it's Claw Nation here with another video, and I'm playing another part of Resident Evil 1. Um, this is part 2 of me getting um, all, every nuke and cranny. Um, so right now, um, we're going to get rid of my ink ribbon. Make sure you have the key, the, um, the shield, um, the um, chemical, and the orb, or the gem. Make sure you have all those. Um, I'm not going to have any healing items. I don't think I need it. So we're going to continue. Right through this door. Okay. And be careful with some zombies. Um, later in the game, some zombies will turn into a crimson head. But we're going to try to avoid that as best as we can. And now we're going to go through this door. Come down here. And you gotta be a little bit careful. I believe there's a zombie down here. No, actually there's not. Um, we're gonna go through this door. No zombie down here. Okay, and now we're gonna put the gem into this tiger. Or, yeah, it looks like a tiger. Um, and the thing is, we're going to come back to this room again eventually once we get the other gem. Um, right now this room is going to stay red on the map because of that. Um, but we got the shotgun shells. That's, um, one thing down with this room. We just need the other gem, which we will get later. And now we're going to go down this way and this way. And through this door. So yeah, this um, will take about five parts before I move on to the next trophy guide of this playthrough, which will be um, probably no saves. No, actually we're going to do survival mode after this. Um, Make sure that you um, turn the lever to red, so when um, when it prompts um, red, um, just click on red, and then go ahead and put in the chemical here. Yeah, right there. And this should kill all the plants. Um, if it's on green, it will kill all the plants and the healing herbs, so make sure it's on red. There we go. And now let's grab all the herbs and then combine them. Okay, and after grabbing all those herbs, go ahead and grab this mask. The death mask, another death mask, which we will need. There's going to be four death masks, death masks that we're going to need. Um, so yeah, now let's continue on. And zombies will pop through these windows, but if you're quick enough, you won't have to deal with them. And then go through here. Right through this handy dandy door. And then pa go past that zombie. Or make sure you don't. Make sure you run quick enough where that zombie won't get you. And now in here. Let's put in this gold plate for this part. And now we can mess with the clock. A clock. Okay. Okay, we're going to move the large one to the left. All the way to the sixth. Um, so, yeah.
Oops, I moved the um, small one on accident. Okay, we're going to have to move the large one to the six. And then move the small one to the top again. Um, I actually moved it. There we go. And that should be it with that. There we go, and let's go ahead and grab this key. And then go ahead and grab this ink ribbon, finally, and make a save. Let's go ahead and make a save. Okay, upstairs, we made it to this area. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and fight one of the first bosses in the game. Um, a snake. A handy dandy snake. And now we're going to climb up here. And use the mansion key to open this door. Okay. And this is where we're going to fight the snake. Um, I saved it mostly because the snake could poison you. So if the snake poisons you, just restart your save and come all the way back up here. Um, so yeah. He does poison me once, so I restarted. Um, we're going to be, um, we're not going to have any weapons on us. We're going to have, um, Richter, or whatever his name is, shoot the snake for us. And go ahead and pick up this other death mask. And then hide behind these pillars so the snake doesn't get you. And then run around once he gets close to you. There we go, now phase one of the snake is done. Thanks. Oh no! He has been eaten whole. Richard! Richard. Richard is done for. And now we gotta go get his um, shotgun. And this is the shotgun that we're gonna be using all the time. It's the assault shotgun. Okay, let's grab it. There we go. And now we're gonna run past him. And now we're gonna equip the shotgun. And when he gets closer to you and shoot him in the head, it does a lot of damage if you do it like that. And then you're going to keep on running back and forth until he's dead. And just keep on shooting him in the, in the head. It should take about two to three shots.
Okay, this is our map. Everything's practically green, besides that item box room. Um, Barry dropped some stuff in for us there, so we had to go pick it up. The small room over there is the tiger room. Um, we had to wait until we get in our gym to um, get that last place. And all the red doors, don't worry about those, it's always red. Um, so yeah. And then the basement is red because we do grab some more stuff down there. So that should be um, good. And now we're going to continue onward. Continue onward. And then run past the zombie. He won't be able to get you. And then um, shoot him in the head right here. Mostly because he will bust through that door and he'll be a problem later. Here we won't be coming back into this room so it doesn't matter if um, at all. There we go. And now we're going to continue. Right through this door. And then we're going to go back to the item box room. The item box room. Okay. And he, see Barry dropped some stuff. So we're going to go ahead and pick up this. Um, yeah right there. We're going to go ahead and pick up. These stuff that he has. First I'm going to get rid of some stuff. Because I don't have enough space. Death mask. So there's only one more death mask. That we need it looks like. Because we need four of them. But I know what it is, so we're going to go ahead and grab it really fast, too. I'm just reorganizing some stuff. I'm putting away the shotgun. The assault shotgun is what we're going to be using the most of. Grab it. Um, and then go ahead and put the shotgun shells away. We're going to keep the key. Perfect. And now we're going to pick up these stuff. So we could throw those in there. A first aid spray. And then. Dumb shells. And the thing is. Um, and the thing is. Um, uh, some people think to get this. Every nuke and cranny trophy. You got to. Um, you got to. Open every door, which is not true. You just have to grab every item in every room. So you don't have to open every door. Now we're going to open this one. And continue. And grab this plant. This red herb. And then use the lockpick to open this door. Perfect. Grab this file. Grab this fish hook. We're going to need that. And then go ahead and grab this lure of a bee. Don't press the switch yet. Or, but, or, um, yeah. Don't press the switch yet. And then go ahead and grab this one, this bee sesame. And then give it the um, hook. Like combine the hook with that golden bee. And then give that golden bee to this area. And then give this bee specimen to this area. And open the switch. And grab this. And a bee is going to pop up. 
and she's going to do a little dance. Grab this really fast and exit the wind quest. Perfect. Okay, in this room, we're going to grab this first aid box. Okay. And then we're going to have to grab this ink ribbon. Um, first, there should be something right here. Yeah, green herb. Perfect. An ink ribbon. Perfect. Open sesame. There we go. And now we're going to exit. Make, make like a tree and leave. Those are all green now. Okay, and now we're going to enter this door, and we're going to head back down. And don't forget this file over here. Little hidden file right there. And then we're going to put the ink ribbon away. We don't need it right now at this point. We have a lot of ink ribbons. There we go. And then put the first aid spray away. I'm putting the first aid spray like next to each other really. Um, so there we go. And then put this back down here, keeping everything organized. There we go. And grab the salt shotgun. Always grab the salt shotgun if I say shotgun. And grab the shotgun ammo and combine them. There we go, and then put the shotgun shells away, grab the grenade launcher, and then grab the death masks. And we're gonna go ahead and go fight a boss. And there should be another death mask on our way there. And let's go. Okay, and this door is going to break, so this is the last time you can go through it. So don't go back through that door or you're not going to be able to come out. So, that's the last time we're going to be going through that door. Go through here, use the mansion key. No longer need it. So throw it away. And then we're going to turn this yellow thing, this yellow painting into apparently orange it kind of looks reddish more and then we're going to go on this side and then turn this to turn the yellow stained glass to a green color that is definitely green and then we're going to turn this red stain to purple and only click the ones that i clicked and then interact with this picture okay and then the last death mask is right here. So go ahead and pick this up. Perfect. 
And now we're gonna go back down to the basement to fight another boss. Perfecto. And then we're gonna go down here. And then we're going to interact with this. We're going to put in, um, make sure you put in the right ones. So this one's a one with literally like it has practically his whole face. This one's missing a mouth and a nose. So we're going to do the mouth and nose one. Okay, and this one looks like it's missing a nose. Apparently, I'm not close enough. It's weird. Okay. Let's try it again. No? That's so weird. But it's the one that's missing a nose, so I'm going to do this one next. Okay, now I'm going to try to put it in this one. For some reason, it's not letting me. How about right there? Aha, that's the soft spot. Now we're gonna go ahead and interact with this. And we're ready to fight him. Now this is where we're gonna use this um, grenade launcher. So we're going to shoot him once, wait until he recovers, and then shoot him again once he recovers, and then there we go, Grave Digger, Grave Digger. And now we're going to go ahead and grab what's in here, it's a button and there is something here. A stone and metal object. And grab this shotgun shells. Perfect. And now I unequipped my gun because we're not going to use it anytime soon. And I don't want to accidentally use it. So now let's run up and head out of here. Let's go. Okay, be careful with this zombie. We're gonna run around him. Just like that. Not a tricky one because you have enough room. I'm not gonna do any tricky dodging at all. Okay. And now we're gonna go through here. Perfect. And then a dog's gonna get me. You have to be quick, and I wasn't quick enough. So knock that dog away, and then run in. Yeah, you have to put that object in there, and then the dog, you have to be quick or the dog's gonna get you. Okay, and I'll grab the shotgun shells. And then there's a first aid spray over here. 
grab this battery pack right there, hidden, and then grab this first aid spray. And then head in here. And ha. And then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna interact with this. We're going to switch until it hits um, a west. If you take a while, it will spin faster. Um, yeah, I did north. It's supposed to be on west. So we're going to try to make it on west. Do it again. There we go. It's on west. And then hit no. Okay, and now we're going to do this one. Okay, this one's supposed to be on north, so make sure it's on north. Stop it on north, and then the door should open. The gate. The gate should open. And now let's enter the gate. Okay, I'm walking really slow because these birds can get you. Um, I'll try to get into the middle as close as possible. If you get close to the birds, the birds will attack you. Okay. Now here we're going to put in the other object, the metal one. And then we're going to grab all three of these. I don't know why it's like this, where we have to grab all three different items. Um, I think it's because if you don't have three available spaces, you can't get the magnum. This is how you get the magnum. So now let's go ahead and put them in. First you have to examine them. Examine the back. And then once you examine the back, you can put them in. And let's do that to the rest of them. Okay, and now we got the Magnum. A good looking gun right here. One of the most powerful guns in the game. Perfect. Silver Serpent. Okay. Now you can head down this way slowly. And then we're going to go ahead and run to the gate. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. And now let's continue down here. And run all the way to the end. Now once you enter here, we're going to go ahead and go up here, grab this map off the wall. There's a typewriter there. Okay. 
grab this note right by the typewriter. There we go. And there's an item box right there. And go ahead and grab this crank. Perfect. And then go ahead and go into the um, item box. And let's put some stuff away. We're going to put away this first aid spray. See how much um, healing items we have. If you have to use any, don't worry. We have plenty. Put the grenade launcher there. The assault shotgun. Grab the ink ribbon. And then go ahead and put the first aid spray right there for now. Actually, I'm going to reorganize a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put you all the way to the bottom. Okay. Okay, and grab the shotgun. Actually, yeah, that's what we're going to need. Is the shotgun. Put away the shotgun ammo. And grab it back. Just to combine them. And then don't go through that door. Or um, somebody will grab you. Um, first save it. Let's save our data. Okay, and now let's put away our ink ribbon. There we go. And now, um, I'm going to put that back up a little bit. And now let's continue. Equip the magna. And right through here. Okay. And now we're going to shoot this guy with the Magnum once. So he doesn't attack us. And run past him. And now we're going to exit. Okay. And down here there is a zombie. But I would recommend going slow when it hits that point. So you could dupe the zombie and run around him. So yeah. Right at this tree there should be a zombie. Let's go a little bit slow to dupe him a little bit. Um, at this tree. Right here. And then go ahead and walk a little bit slow to dupe the zombie. Right there. And then run around this tree to dodge him. There we go. Now you continue running once you hit this point. And then we're going to continue on.
Okay, at this point, we're going to try to run away from the dogs. I'm not up here. That's my mistake. And now the dogs are attacking me. And now we're going to run right here. The dogs can't get you when you're right here because you're by the elevator. And now we're going to go ahead and shoot them. And just shoot them. If you have to leave to get closer to them, you can. But um, just wait a little bit. Like right there. Shoot them. And then, yeah. Once I hit the third one, then they really, he's really like hiding away from me. And then I go up to him and try to kill him. But there we go. And just, yeah. Just do that. Finally, the dog's dead. So now we're going to go ahead and grab this green herb. And grab this blue one. Actually, no, we won't need the blue one. We just need that one green herb. And let's continue. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and turn this crank. To drain the water. Perfect. Okay, and once you're right here, go to the elevator, but there will be snakes on the way back, and these snakes can um, poison you. Um, there will be a snake by that lamppost right there that will jump at you when you go past him. Um, shoot him, like right here, will suffice, and then you can run past him, because that snake will automatically jump at you, so I'll be careful, so you don't get poisoned. But there is a blue herb down there, so don't worry about it. But there will be snakes falling all the way down here. So you got to be careful. So just run to the side so you don't have to worry about them. And then you can practically shoot the snake probably from here. Just make sure you lock on to him. And that's how you're going to kill the snake. It's just going to be a tiny snake, but he will jump at you once you go past him. And now let's enter. And then there's some crows. And now let's keep on going. And then go through here. Okay, and go ahead and grab this red herb and combine it with the green one. And 
and I'm going to use it so I become fine again. And then snakes are going to start falling. This is what I'm talking about later. Um, all these snakes, they can poison you. And then enter here. Okay. And then go ahead and grab one blue herb. Um, just in case you get poisoned by spiders that's here. Enter here. And shoot up. Kill the spider. And shoot down. There is another spider here, but we're going to try to avoid it as best as we can. Why his leg fell off? Okay. Go ahead and grab this green herb. And go ahead and grab this green herb. And let's go ahead and go down. Grab the shotgun shells. And then grab this um, first aid box. And this should be... Okay, some green herbs, a green and blue herb mix. Okay, we're going to combine those two and combine that with that. Perfect. And then go ahead and grab this red book. And now we're going to head on out of here. There we go. Okay, now we're going to push this box down here. And we're going to use this box pretty much to block the holes. Because um, there will be tentacles that will come and try to grab you. Um, so we're going to use this box to really navigate through that. Yeah, just push them right here. And now whoever's in here won't be able to grab you. When you go through it. And now we're going to go into the saving room. Okay, go ahead and grab this battery pack. And then this ink ribbon. Now we're going to go to the item box. And we're going to go ahead and combine those to heal, to replenish it. Okay. Now we're going to put some um, herbs away too. Put away the magnum. We won't be needing that. Combine the ink ribbon. Grab it so we can save. Actually, no, I'll just put it a little bit down first. And then put in the mixed ones put that there put that there little organizing perfect okay and put the red book away there we go you need the um, no you can put the crank away and put the shotgun shells away all you need is the shotgun and let's save it
Okay, now you can climb on this. And you can exit. And now whatever will grab you won't grab you. Now let's go down this way. To room 002. And don't grab the map on the wall yet. Um, because bees will fly at you once you do that. Um, once you peek through that hole. And you don't want to do that yet. Grab this file. This file. And go ahead and push this bookcase all the way to the end. And then push this one to the side to unleash a ladder that we will take later. There we go. And exit. Okay. And now in this bathroom. Um, a zombie will burst in and you're gonna have to kill it fast because there's not enough space to dodge it So but you can try to leave with the zombie in here But then the zombie will burst through the door and it'll make things a lot difficult um, In the long run, so we're going to just kill him in here so first things first um, We're going to go ahead and go over here Grab this key, a residence key. Okay. And now once you move a little bit, the zombie will burst in and run right here. And shoot up and shoot him in the head really fast to kill him. And now you can practically exit now. Let's go. And that's all we're going to do right now. Now we're going to head back to the saving room. Which is right down here. Okay. And now we're going to run over here, um, run back. Don't grab that map off the wall yet. Okay. Yeah, and you can easily turn, um, yeah, to make things a little bit easier. Just in case a zombie jumps at you. And now let's go ahead and push this crate. Because the tentacles will grab you two ways. If you run that way with that hole there, a tentacle will grab you. If you run this way that I'm going right now, that tentacle will grab you from that hole. But if you keep this box here, it won't. Um, so you're going to use this box to really prevent that from happening. So yeah, right down there. And then right down there, we'll grab you the other way. So, there we go. And now let's go to the saving room. Actually, first use the residence key for here to discard it. And we're going to go in here first. There we go. Ooh, a zombie hanging. How's it hanging? Grab the self-defense gun that we're never going to use. But to get every nook and cranny, we're going to have to grab it anyways. And then go ahead and grab this um, hangar magazine. There we go. Right in here. See what's in here. Okay. Dirty water, drain it. Perfect. Grab whatever in the bathtub. It's a control room key. 
And then a zombie's gonna wake up, but we're not gonna come back in here, so it's not a problem. And now we're gonna run out. And now we're gonna go to the saving room. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna grab the ink ribbon. First we're gonna put the handgun magazine away. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the red book. Perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and first we're going to go ahead and grab a blue herb. Um, just to grab another one. Okay, and that's going to be really it. Now we're just going to go save it, and that should be it with this part. I will be playing more Resident Evil 1 more, and same with Dark Souls 1. And yeah, I'm going to be playing more games, getting more games out there. It's going to be slow, but surely I will. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. If you didn't, please like and subscribe anyways. It doesn't hurt anybody. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.